a Wikivide Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. June Carter Cash June Carter Cash was an American singer, songwriter, actress, dancer, comedian, and author who was a member of the Carter family, and the second wife of singer Johnny Cash. Prior to her marriage to Cash, she was professionally known as June Carter and occasionally was still credited as such after her marriage. She played guitar, banjo, harmonica, and auto harp, and acted in several films and television shows. Carter Cash won five Grammy Awards and was inducted into the Christian Music Hall of Fame in 2009. She was ranked number 31 in CMT's 40 Greatest Women in Country Music in 2003. Early Life June Carter Cash was born Valerie June Carter in Macy's Spring, Virginia, to Mabel Carter and Ezra Carter. She was born into country music, and performed with the Carter family from the age of 10, beginning in 1939. In March 1943, when the Carter family trio stopped recording together, at the end of the WBT contract, Mabel Carter, with encouragement from her husband Ezra, formed Mother Mabel and the Carter sisters, with her daughters, Helen, Anita, and June. The new group first aired on radio station WRNL in Richmond, Virginia, on June 1st. Doc and Carl Maybell's brother and cousin, respectively, known as the Virginia Boys, joined them in late 1945. June, then 16, was a co-announcer with Ken Allen and did the commercials on the radio shows for Red Star Flower, Martha White, and Falheimer's Department Store, just to name a few. For the next year, the Carters and Doc and Carl did show dates within driving range of Richmond, through Virginia, Maryland, Delaware, and Pennsylvania. June later said she had to work harder at her music than her sisters, but she had her own special talent, comedy. A highlight of the road shows was her, Aunt Polly, comedy routine. Carl McConnell wrote in his memoirs that June was, a natural-born clown, if there ever was one. She attended John Marshall High School during this period. After Doc and Carl dropped out of the music business in late 1946, Mabel and her daughters moved to Sunshine Sue Workman's. Old Dominion Barn Dance, on the WRVA Richmond station. After a while there, they moved to Knox in Knoxville, Tennessee, where they met Chet Atkins with Homer and Jethro. In 1949, Mother Mabel and the Carter sisters, with their lead guitarist, Atkins, were living in Springfield, Missouri, and performing regularly, at KWTO. Ezra, Eck, Carter, Mabel's husband and manager of the group, declined numerous offers from the Grand Ole Opry to move the act to Nashville, Tennessee, because the Opry would not permit Atkins to accompany the group on stage. Atkins' reputation as a guitar player had begun to spread, and studio musicians were fearful that he would displace them as a first call player if he came to Nashville. Finally, in 1950, Opry management relented and the group, along with Atkins, became part of the Opry company. Here the family befriended Hank Williams and Elvis Presley, and June met Johnny Cash. June and her sisters, with Mother Mabel and Aunt Sarah joining in from time to time, reclaimed the name, The Carter Family, for their act during the 1960s and 70s. With her thin and lanky frame, June Carter often played a comedic foil during the group's performances alongside other Opry stars Farron Young and Webb Pierce. Career Highlights while June Carter Cash may be best known for singing and songwriting, she was also an author, dancer, actress, comedian, philanthropist, and humanitarian. Director Alia Kazan saw her perform at the Grand Ole Opry in 1955 and encouraged her to study acting. She studied with Lee Strasberg and Sanford Meisner at the Neighborhood Playhouse School of the Theatre in New York. Her acting roles included Mrs. Mama. Dewey in Robert Duvall's 1998 movie The Apostle, Sister Ruth, wife to Johnny Cash's character Kid Cole, on Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, and Clarice on Gunsmoke in 1957. June was also Mama James in The Last Days of Frank and Jesse James. As a singer, she had both a solo career and a career singing with first her family and later her husband. As a solo artist, she became somewhat successful with upbeat country tunes of the 1950s such as Jukebox Blues and, with her exaggerated breaths, the comedic hit No Swallow and Place by Frank Luser. June also recorded The Heel in the 1960s along with many other songs. 
In the early 1960s, June Carter wrote the song, Ring of Fire, which later went on to be a hit for her future husband, Johnny Cash. She co-wrote the song with fellow songwriter Merle Kilgore. June wrote the lyrics about her relationship with Johnny Cash and she offered the song to her sister Anita. Anita Carter was the first singer to record the song. In 1963, Johnny recorded the song with the Carter family singing backup and added mariachi horns. The song became a number one hit and went on to become one of the most recognizable songs in the world of country music. Her first notable studio performance with Johnny Cash occurred in 1964 when she duetted with Cash on It Ain't Me Babe, a Bob Dylan composition. That was released as a single and on Cash's album Orange Blossom Special. In 1967, the two found more substantial success with their recording of Jackson, which was followed by a collaboration album, carrying on with Johnny Cash and June Carter. All these releases antedated her marriage to Cash. She continued to work with Cash on record and on stage for the rest of her life, recording a number of duets with Cash for his various albums and being a regular on The Johnny Cash Show from 1969-1971 and on Cash's annual Christmas specials. After carrying on, June Carter Cash recorded one more direct collaboration album, Johnny Cash and His Woman, released in 1973 and along with her daughters was a featured vocalist on Cash's 1974 album The Junkie and the Juice Head Minus Me. She also shared sleeve credit with her husband on a 2000 small label gospel release, Return to the Promised Land although she provided vocals on many recordings, and shared the billing with Cash on several album releases. June Carter Cash only recorded three solo albums during her lifetime. The first, Appalachian Pride, released in 1975, Press On, and Wildwood Flower, the latter released posthumously in 2003 and produced by her son, John Carter Cash. Appalachian Pride is the only one of the three on which Johnny Cash does not perform, while Press On is notable for featuring June Carter Cash singing her original arrangement of Ring of Fire. One of her final appearances was a non-speaking slash non-singing appearance in the music video for her husband's 2003 single, Hurt filmed a few months before her death. One of her last known public appearances was on April 7, 2003, just over a month before her death, when she appeared on the CMT Flameworthy Awards program to accept an Achievement Award on behalf of her husband, who was too ill to attend. She won a Grammy Award in 1999 for Press On. Her last album, Wildwood Flower, won two additional Grammys. It contains bonus video enhancements showing extracts from the film of the recording sessions, which took place at the Carter family estate in Hilton's Virginia, on September 18, 20, 2002. The songs on the album include Big Yellow Peaches, Sinking in the Lonesome Sea, Temptation, and the trademark staple, Wildwood Flower. Due to her involvement in providing backing vocals on many of her husband's recordings, a further posthumous release occurred in 2014, when Out Among the Stars was released under Johnny Cash's name. The album consists of previously unreleased recordings from the early 1980s, including two on which June Carter Cash provides duet vocals. Her autobiography was published in 1979, and she wrote a memoir, From the Heart, almost ten years later. Personal life Carter was married three times and had one child with each husband. All three of her children went on to have successful careers in country music. She was married first to honky-tonk singer Carl Smith from July 9, 1952, until their divorce in 1956. Together, they wrote, Times are wasting. They had a daughter, Rebecca Carleen Smith, professionally known as Carleen Carter, a country musician. June's second marriage was to Edwin, Rip, Nix, a former football player, police officer, and race car driver, on November 11, 1957. They had a daughter, Rosie, on July 13, 1958. The couple divorced in 1966. Rosie was a country-slash-rock singer. On October 24, 2003, Rosie, aged 45, died from accidental carbon monoxide poisoning. Fellow musician D. Campbell and she were on a school bus, which had been converted for travel. Several propane heaters were being used to heat the bus. Carter and the entire Carter family had performed with Johnny Cash for a number of years. In 1968, Cash proposed to Carter during a live performance at the London Ice House in London. 
Ontario. They married on March 1 in Franklin, Kentucky, and remained married until her death in May 2003, just four months before Cash died. The couple's son, John Carter Cash, is a musician, songwriter, and producer. Carter's distant cousin, the former U.S. President Jimmy Carter, became closely acquainted with Cash and Carter and maintained their friendship throughout their lifetimes. In a June 1977 speech, Jimmy Carter acknowledged that June Carter was his distant cousin, with whom they shared a common patrilineal ancestor. Carter was a longtime supporter of SOS Children's Villages. In 1974, the Cashes donated money to help build a village near their home in Barrett Town, Jamaica, which they visited frequently, playing the guitar and singing songs to the children in the village. June Carter Cash also had close relationships with a number of entertainers, including Audrey Williams, James Dean, Patsy Cline, Loretta Lynn, Jesse Coulter, Chris Christopherson, Willie Nelson, Elvis Presley, Robert Duval, and Roy Orbison. Death June died in Nashville, Tennessee, on May 15, 2003, at 73 years old, of complications following heart valve replacement surgery. In the company of her family and her husband of 35 years, Johnny Cash. At Carter's funeral, her stepdaughter, Roseanne Cash, stated, If being a wife were a corporation, June would have been a CEO. It was her most treasured role. Johnny died four months after June's death. And her daughter, Rosie Nix Adams, a month after that. Johnny and June are buried in Hendersonville Memory Gardens near their home in Hendersonville, Tennessee. Philanthropy June Carter Cash along with her husband, Johnny Cash, worked with and gave money to the group, SOS Children's Villages, throughout their life. They began this involvement in 1973 when they donated $12,000 to build an orphanage in a Jamaican village close to their home in the country. They would visit the nearby village during their time spent in Jamaica and play with the children and sing songs to them. When Johnny Cash died in 2003, their family asked that donations be made to the SOS Children's Villages due to the couple's involvement. In a quote from a representative of the Prime Minister of Jamaica at the time, P.J. Patterson talks about their charitable works in the country. A philanthropist extraordinaire, Mrs. Cash made Jamaica her second home and loved and cared deeply for the people of her adopted country. A gifted and talented singer, she and her husband, Johnny Cash, used the very talents for the benefit of many charities in and around Montego Bay. Legacy June Carter was played by Reese Witherspoon in Walk the Line, a 2005 biographical film of Johnny Cash. The film largely focused on the development of their relationship over the course of 13 years, from their first meeting, to her final acceptance of his proposal of marriage. Witherspoon performed all vocals for the role, singing many of June's famous songs, including Jukebox Blues and Jackson with Phoenix. Witherspoon won an Academy Award, Golden Globe, BAFTA and Screen Actors Guild Award for Best Actress in the Role. Musician and actress Jewel portrayed June Carter Cash in a Lifetime television movie called Ring of Fire, which aired on May 27, 2013. The film is based on John Carter Cash's memoir Anchored in Love, an intimate portrait of June Carter Cash. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?